What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error SU-30746-0 for the latest PlayStation 4 update 10.70. So let's get right into this. So as you can see, my PlayStation 4 is turned on, and I do have the update installed, and I'm going to kind of show you if by whatever chance your update is still like in the download section like this GTA game, and you haven't installed it yet, I would highly advise you to stop the update if possible and just like delete it from here. And I'm going to show you like the right way to do it before it, these errors essentially come up popping to you. So you, if you see it like over here, you can like click into it and then just delete it so it stops installing. And then we're going to go into the right way on how to install it. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the PlayStation button and you're going to do turn off PlayStation board, not restart, not enter rest mode. So we're going to completely turn this off because that's what we need to do to get to the places we need to to essentially fix this. So once this is turning off, your PlayStation 4 on the side, the blue light on the side of it, you want it to completely turn off before you move on to the next place to essentially get this uh, to the to what we need to do, which is basically safe mode, and that's where we're trying to get to this. All right, so once this the light completely turns off, and I'll show you when that happens. So let's wait a few minutes. It's still flashing white. Again, you gotta wait for it to completely turn off before you move on to that next phase. All right, so now the lights completely turned off. You're gonna hold on to the power button for about 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. My PlayStation sadly doesn't make any beeps anymore, so it takes about eight to 10 seconds, and I'm gonna like instinctively let go right about now. Hopefully it got to that place. All right, it did. So you can see I am now in safe mode, and it says connect the DualShock 4 using a US the USB cable and then press PlayStation to continue. So you need an authentic USB cable plugged in. If you don't have an authentic one, uh, I have a link in the description below for you to purchase, but you need to connect it to the PlayStation 4 and then connect it here. Again, you cannot do it via Bluetooth. You need a USB cable. Once you have it connected, you're going to press the PlayStation button, and that's why I said, see, my control's like a little jacked up. So let's see if I can make it work. Uh, that's this Again, this happens to certain folks. They go like, hey, it's not connecting. What do I do? What do I do? This basically, it, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> all right, now I'm in. All right, so just to show you. You cannot use the analog stick here. Just an FYI, you need to use the, uh, the D-pad on the side. So we're going to do a few things once we're in here. The first thing we're going to do is rebuild database. You're going to do this first before you even move on to essentially trying to do anything else. Once you do the rebuild database section, your, your console is going to restart and you're going to want to basically come back to the screen again. So you're going to have to do the rebuild database. It might take you like five minutes to 10 minutes. Then turn off your console again and come back here to go into the next phase on what needs to be done here, basically. So once you do that, and let's move on. So we're going to do, like I said, rebuild database, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. Once, you're in, once you do re rebuild database, you're going to go to update system software. So we're going to do a few things here first. First, you're going to do update using the internet. So even though I am updated, as I showed you, I can redo it again here. But if you obviously haven't done it, you can just do it from here. You're going to press next and you're going to update your PlayStation 4 from here. Again, do not do it from the console itself. Do it from here. This is how you're going to save yourself from getting that error and being basically bricked or just going thrown into that error loop. Okay. The next thing you want to do once you get to this section and do the update is you're going to press cancel and let's just say this doesn't work. The next thing you're going to do is update from USB storage device. I have a video on how to do this, but it is essentially downloading uh, the update file from PlayStation website itself, putting it in a USB drive, putting that USB drive into your PlayStation 4 into the front, wherever the charging ports are, the USB ports, and then make sure you are not already in safe mode, leave, turn the console off, put in the USB, then come back into safe mode and press this button. It's going to say connect the USB storage device that contains an update file for version 10.7 or later. You can download the update file from PlayStation.com. Again, I have a whole video on this. I will leave it in the description below on what to do. The next thing, if that does not work, is option number six. You're going to do initialize PlayStation 4. This is going to delete everything from your PlayStation 4 and reinstall the system software via the console itself. So you don't need anything external for this. This is the, your second last option to do. And if th this doesn't work, and again, be cognizant, this is going to delete your user PSN uh, login. You I mean, not the PSN itself, just the login. You can just re-put it back in. This is going to delete all your games, all your saved files. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're about to do this. 
And the final one is initialize PlayStation 4 via a USB. Again, I have a video on this as well. I'm going to show you what to do in that video. It's essentially the same thing, just a different file. This is like the final option to do, right? You're basically going to just download the file and essentially put it into the USB. Same thing, turn off your console completely, put the, the USB into the console, uh, and then turn on safe mode, then come to this section, press OK, and let it reinstall the whole thing from scratch into your console. Again, this is going to delete all your games, your saved files, your logged in PlayStation accounts, and all that other stuff. So if you, if you already got to this point and you can now go in, Again, this is final option. Sadly, if you don't have PlayStation Plus and you don't have your games, in, uh, your saved files installed to the cloud, you're kind of <laughs> you're kind of in a bad situation, and you're gonna lose all your games. So. Yeah, that's sadly the few options that you're gonna have to do. Hopefully, like I said, if you do the first few steps that I mentioned, which is just rebuilding the database and then essentially doing the updates, you can you can try it a few times if you want. From what I've seen and uh, like from experience, always rebuilding your database and doing the update via the internet and then possibly USB helps fix this issue majority of the time. So you gotta you're gonna have to kind of take it down that route and do it from there. So hopefully, it fixes the issues for you from there. Um, so yeah, hopefully, like I said, you guys, uh, this if, if you can even avoid the update, I know you can sadly avoid the updates because you just have to do the updates because then you can't play online games. A lot of times these PlayStation 4 updates, when they come through, they just break the console. You sadly, it actually doesn't happen on PlayStation 5 that much. It's happening more so on PlayStation 4. So it just kind of sucks that this has been like happening continuously. It hasn't gotten better or fixed in the past few days or so. So that, that does kind of suck on that component but yeah uh, hopefully <laughs> these issues don't happen in the future maybe a major update when uh, update number 11 happens because this is 10.7 sony finally fixes this and we don't have to kind of face these issues anymore but hey we'll we'll take it one step at a time and we'll see how it goes when we get to that point uh, but yeah, that was basically this video. Hopefully you guys did find this helpful and informative. If you still have any comments, questions, concerns, or any other errors that are coming up, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall uh, have other issues coming up or other videos you want me to make a video on, like definitely let me that know that as well in the comment section below. But yeah, if you, uh, if you, if you got, uh, yeah, that's basically it. On that, more gaming out. Peace out, guys.